Hi, this is Kelly with the Field Fox Handheld Analyzer. Today, we're going to explore Field Fox's channel scanning feature in three parts. What is channel scanning, setting up the channel scanner, and channel scanning in action. So, what is channel scanning? Essentially, the channel scanner measures the power of multiple channels simultaneously, which helps you identify issues with path loss, interference, and weak signal strength. To understand channel power, it's helpful to think of it as the total power within an integrated bandwidth. I know, this may bring back haunted memories from calculus. But don't worry, why calculate integrals when a spectrum analyzer can do the math for you? No more worrying about manually finding the area under the curve. This is important for anyone who uses devices like smartphones, laptops, and Wi-Fi. No one wants to deal with dropped calls or slow internet. If your system isn't outputting enough power, your signal can be drowned out by noise, causing problems like decreased coverage, reduced reliability, and overlapping interference. On the other hand, if the power is too high, you may experience issues like nonlinear performance, component damage, or even an outage. The channel scanner mode on FieldFox makes it easy to understand your network's performance. With features like time interval logging and geotagging, you can easily overlay the power data on a GPS map so you can see exactly where your signal is the strongest and the weakest. So, let's set up the measurement. Make sure you have your GPS antenna. And if you have a strong signal, this little guy works too. The channel scanner can measure various wireless signals for up to 20 channels. For this example, I'll keep it simple and track the coverage of two FM radio stations. Channel power requires the input of four variables, center frequency of the channel, integration bandwidth, upper power limit, and lower power limit. Once all the variables are in and the GPS coordinates are loaded, FieldFox is ready to log data. Zoom in on your location and you can view the power data displayed on the map. The channel scanner is ready to go. Let's collect some data. Safety first. You ready? As I start driving, you can see the power levels start to change. These are recorded on a scale from deep blue to dark red. The GPS pins get warmer as power level increases. You can see the power levels of channel one are consistently higher than channel two, but these are all within our acceptable limits of negative 80 to negative 40 dBm. Here is a side-by-side -side example of two channels on a drive throughout the entire city. You can see how this tool could help visualize coverage tests and identify areas with interference issues. Catch you next time.